We're hiring a lot of people in Vietnam to build out a print farm. But how do you onboard all these people? So in, in my opinion, what I've seen is it costs a lot of money to hire people. Once you have them, you want them to ramp up as soon as possible. And and instead of putting everything and, and using a lot of data folders and time onboarding new people, I actually found that using tools can help you. So for instance, Slack, we have a trade show. We pull together the key players, the key people to staff the booth, and we do a project team within Slack. That data is there. So the next year when we have new uh, employees or new staff or new venue, day one, the first thing you do, go back in history. Look at all these channels, get up to speed without existing employee training them uh, has been very useful. You've got to be savvy with uh, being online and using those tools. I'm a sales guy. How do you sell in this economy, in this environment with no trade show, no traveling? Well, maybe you really need to adapt to the new reality and maybe we need to look at more social selling, social media selling, being online, be much more active. I'm teaching my new employees, you've got to use social media as a tool, uh, as an advantage. Recruiting is definitely tricky during these times. Uh, I speak from personal experience because at 3D Natives, we are trying to recruit right now and it's it's not the, the easiest, not only to identify if you have the right players uh, on board, but also how you can train them. There is usually a, a certain training period that is crucial on how uh, that employee will do. Uh, companies need to optimize their communication with potential new employees. Onboarding sessions will be different. If the company has decided from a strategic point of view that they need to continue with onboarding new players in, the, in their teams, uh, it needs to happen no matter what. So extra communication, perhaps further tests and larger time periods of onboarding make, make more sense. In regards to your question about what skills are necessary, it's not like we'll get back to the normal lifestyles we had. It's not like skill, the same skills as before will be needed. We are living currently uh, a digital transformation, even more than before. And uh, we see from massive corporations in the world and the amounts of budgets they invest into digital solutions, uh, we see that the skills needed from employees will be uh, focusing a lot more on digital rather than physical. So currently we have paused hiring new employees, so, so onboarding of those new employees would wait for the time being. Um, for trainings, our HR department has been really active in helping us pull up you know, the trainings that, that were already available to us but maybe didn't have time to do um, in the day-to-day -day business. So we can attend trainings virtually, that has all already been established. Um, for me personally, I think it's really interesting to see some of the webinars that are out there, um, being able to think differently about you know, our field in additive manufacturing and, and some of the new folks that are getting an idea of what could be. Presentation and communication skills as well, remote presentation skills is also a really good one to hone in on right now.